No, it will not affect the, the, um, the outcome of the, of the elections. Um, as I've been saying to everyone, um, I am very um, grateful to, to the work that Dr. Mancino did as the DHS. But like in everything, there is time to, when you have to go, you do not take a position for all your life. I'm not going to be a prime minister all my life. Likewise, with the DHS, it's not a position that you get for all your life from time to time you move. But the fact is that, um, that when we were elected and we had a new minister, they wanted a different approach to be able to contain and to control the spread of COVID. COVID was getting out of control. It was over 5,000 um, people that were already infected. And we had to take a different view, a different approach, a different strategy. And so they felt that Dr. Uh, Melissa Diaz was the right person. And now when we look forward now, that we can see that it was the right decision because right now we have less than 200 persons that are infected. Her record speaks for herself. The it points out, it, but she pointed out that we did the right decision in, um, in, 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 in changing strategy and bringing new leadership into the course of the DHS. It's as simple as that. Lead right now, sir, um, for misconduct, can you elaborate on that please? Well, I don't think I am in a position to be able to elaborate on that because I do know all the facts. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you know, we have, have and we have had an acting DHS um, under Melissa Diaz and she has done a stupendous job by any measurements that she did. And I think we should be happy, including Mrs. Willow. Miss Willoughby is supposed to be happy that we had somebody that managed to reduce the rate of infection in Belize. And that record speaks for itself.